quickly again with another ROM review and this time I've got CR Droid for Galaxy S3. Now um, this is actually based on CyanogenMod Mod 11 uh, compiled from the commits and it incorporates a lot of extra features also so that ma that's what makes it a unique ROM. Now let's get into it. First of all what you would see here is the um, lock screen which you can see is uh, blurry so it does have that feature it has a see-through feature with a blurred effect which is uh, well it's kind of becoming a favorite feature of mine so it does work so you do have a swipe for camera and uh, you can enable swipe for widgets also and we have the uh, light cyanogen mod um, Google experience launcher which is the light version so you don't have the swipe to Google now feature but yeah it works pretty good uh, what else do we have now let's get into the settings now first of all what you would see in the about phone page is the Android version is 4.4.2 it is KitKat thus it is Mod um, 11 24 1 2014 that is the build date of this um, <laughs> the build date again um, build date see Android simple version build 2 this is the build 2 uh, it, there was a build 1 version which was also based on the uh, CM 11 so yeah Let's get into the features now. First of all, in the lock screen features, there are a few extra features which are not available in CyanogenMod ROMs. First of all, in the screen security, you do have, when you use the pin unlock, you do have an option to have the uh, buttons scramble so that the uh, whatever, whoever you don't want to see your password, doesn't just get a guess from the way your hand moves. So that's pretty good. So that really does work out. What else do we have? Battery status only when charging. Uh, slider shortcuts. You do have a uh, four slider option, so you do have the option to change the slider. So that is pretty good. Show slider before um, secure unlock. So if you do have some security like pin unlock or the um, sl uh, the other forms of unlock enable, you can yeah enable this option to show the uh, handle before the unlock itself. So that is pretty uh, good feature so that you can have the shortcuts there before the actual password or pin button action you do have a custom menu for the buttons so you can uh, assign a, uh, a button when in it's within when it is in the lock screen so you I normally enable flashlight so that I can use a flashlight on the go so that's pretty cool um, here is the lock screen blur effect which is pretty cool this is what I was talking about so you do have at that you can enable custom widget from here you can uh, have the clock widget which is C clock the Cronus clock from Sanogen mod you do have that so that's it from the lock screen now you do have theme options so it does accept all the Sanogen mod themes um, no worries with that interface is where all the other options are now first of all we have status bar options where you have the normal settings you do have double tap to tap sleep which is really a cool feature. You do have battery status style, icon portrait, icon landscape, circle, text, and hidden. I normally go for icon portrait with uh, battery percentage. So these are all the options available. You don't have the option for a center clock or anything like that, but yeah, that's kind of a trade off with Science in Mod 11. Quick setting panel is kind of special. You do have all the settings and tiles of the normal Science in Mod uh, quick setting panel, but you also have styles which is a big improvement in my opinion you do have the option for fold tiles and uh, the scale landscape quality which doubles the number of tiles when you go into landscape so that is a pretty big improvement for me because I really really like to have this kind of a layout with four per row so that's really a great one so you do have that um, what else do we have now uh, notification drawer settings you do have auto close behavior and quick setting ribbon in drawer so that can act as a power widget uh, replacement which can be linked to the actual tiles or you can have your own uh, thing there um, recent panel setting now recent panel setting has a lot of options also so you you can have the clear all button which is the uh, the button to clear everything in the recents you can have the position at different options uh, different positions you do have recent ram, uh, RAM bar so you can have the RAM there you can see what what I mean this is the quick clear for every recent menu and this is the RAM bar RAM bar is currently showing 453 megs free so yeah it's not the best free RAM ROM of uh, 
whatever but still that is considerable but it is a KitKat ROM so that is expected what else do we have um expanded the stop you can enable that in the power menu you do have navigation bar which is a pretty good feature uh which you which most people will use i am seeing more and more people using this one dimensions can be changed you can have the this thing to whatever small thing i want i normally use this at 24 dpi uh add remove these settings buttons and layout you can remove these and unlocked so you can just remove these i guess and I uh, can uh, enable more in the quick apps which I use. Uh, I normally use a few apps which include um, SMS, call, and everything there. So that in, no matter wherever I am, I kind of go to that. So that is pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? Quick setting, quick launch shortcut. So the swipe one, you can select something here. Normally, people do select um, Google search. Since I have, I don't have the Google Now app installed, I can't search for that now. So yeah, that is it. Now we do also have the Halo setting, which is pretty awesome. This one is kind of a different one. Um, you don't have the enable here, which is, it is already enabled. But you have a circle here. If it has the um, messaging thing coming out, it means it's enabled. So it is enabled now. It doesn't have ninja mode, which was quite of a turn off for me. I really wanted the ninja mode. But the Halo is resizable and uh, movable, so that is a big improvement. That really does work out pretty good. So I am kind of psyched about that. What else do we have? Now the rest of the settings are similar to what you would expect from the uh, normal Cyanogen Mod 11 ROM. So you do have in the display and light, you can see um, cast screen adaptive display. Here in the screen of animation, you can enable screen of animation and with uh, animation styles. What else do we have? Uh, you do have privacy settings where you have a bit of things. You do have a inbuilt blacklist app which uh, which you can uh, enable or disable certain calls from your contact and SMS. So yeah, privacy guard to help you uh, change the settings. So that's pretty cool. And of course, this purpose which is a feature of Sanjay Mod 11. And uh, about phone, I've already shown you guys. So yeah, nothing else. This is kind of a light ROM, so you can see a lot of things here. So let's go to Antutu Benchmark Score. The Antutu Benchmark Score was, as you would expect, 18,000 something, which, well, it's not anything extra. You can see 18, uh, 18861. It's not um, anything which you wouldn't expect. It is similar to what you would expect, nothing special. But yeah, you do have that, so that's pretty cool what else do we have now the boot animation is similar to the official science and mod so i'm not going to show you that um the camera the camera doesn't have the save to internal function so that was kind of a miss thing so yeah the camera did not crash for me i'm not sure why people are having camera crash issues i didn't have that with any cm11 rom uh, well the current cm11 roms so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom uh, okay the battery life i i almost forget i always forget about the battery life now um the battery life for me was this one okay i have used it after flashing for two hours and i've played continuously music for more than one hour one and a half hours continuous music and the score uh, the when i flashed it it was at 885 percentage uh, uh, no, uh, it was at 97 percentage and after I was done it was at um, 89 percentage which means there was a 6 percentage drop 6 or 7 percentage drop in the battery which was pretty good I thought that was a really great feature I was using Wi-Fi and data whenever I was not in Wi-Fi zone I was using data previously when I was using the phone as my daily driver so it uh, fared pretty well considering it is a kit uh, science Mode 11 ROM. I guess the battery life is pretty good um, So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video Please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye